Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Let's begin your tarot card reading. So I see that we have some very interesting tarot cards for you guys today. The tarot card that is really standing out for me is the one on the bottom of the deck. And this is a symbol of love. It's a symbol of commitment. It's a symbol of stability. So what you've been hoping for for some time is on its way to you. And if you've been having doubts, if you've been having insecurities, if you've been feeling like things are just not going to work out the way that you want it to, then you need to have faith in what is happening in your life because it all has a grand purpose. Okay, the first tarot card is showing to me that during this period of time, the person you're dealing with sees you as someone that is st stable, someone that is uh, reliable, someone that is steady. So they have a lot of respect for you. They know you are the type of person that has a lot of integrity. They know that you are the type of person that if they were in trouble, they can rely upon you. And that's what everybody's initially looking for in a relationship. They're looking for someone to share their life with, to have love and commitment. But more than just that, they want stability. They want to know that if they get sick or if something happens to them, someone is going to be there for them. And so they see you as that type of individual. They see you as someone that has your life together and you have a deeper understanding of how the world works and they value and appreciate that. Now, the next tarot card is showing to me that when they think about you, they have this part of themselves that feels very, very conflicted. So let's find out why they're feeling that way. What they would like for you to know is that you make them feel very, very happy and that they like the fact that you are a part of their life, that they had an opportunity to know you. So based on how the tarot cards have lined up, it's quite clear that you're dealing with a person that has had a lot on their plate. They've been dealing with a lot of things recently. There's a reason here why they're feeling conflicted. Are they missing you? Yes, they are. I see from this specific tarot card that this person is holding on to hope of what they can have in terms of a relationship with you. So they feel conflicted about, you know, having another opportunity at a relationship with you. They don't know what they want at this point. Very interesting that that had to come up with the, this particular tarot card. They see you as someone that can take care of them, male or female. Okay, they see you as someone that will be generous and kind towards them, but they feel conflicted about giving you a chance. 
Again, we have another tarot card which is indicating tension. It's like they feel bad that you make them feel good. So it's weird, like they don't want to acknowledge something at this point. We have two tarot cards, one indicating tension, one indicating conflict. And this is all internal in nature. It's what you don't see. Okay, for some of you, you might be lucky if the person is actually communicating to you what they're going through. But most often, people don't tell you these things. Now, are they missing you? Yes, they are. But can you imagine what they're holding on to? What, what are they hoping for? Right? They're hoping for commitment and marriage. They're hoping for a relationship that has stability in it. So why are they having these doubts and insecurities? Now, let's see. What is really troubling them during this period of time? It's revolving around timing. They have a problem with the timing of the situation. They feel like things were happening at the wrong time. And they feel like they need more time to think about certain things. But at the same time, they are afraid of missing an opportunity if they take too much time. Okay? So, let's see. I'm very curious to know why they're having these insecurities and doubts because that's going to be key for you to solve the situation, to find out, you know, whether or not you can actually go beyond these challenges and obstacles that you're dealing with at this point. So let's find out what is the key reason for this person having insecurities and doubts about having a relationship with you. So what I'm seeing from the bottom of the deck is that they are afraid of taking a chance and they are uncertain whether things will work out between the two of you. So I feel like this person is having some sort of insecurity regarding investing time and effort into a relationship and getting nothing out of it. So I feel like they are afraid to dip their, their foot in the water because they feel like you know, it might not result in something that will work out. So I'm going to find out how we can deal with this individual's insecurities on the elite tarot society and what the solutions are for you in terms of what you need to say to them to assure them what you need to do, etc. It's so instrumental because whenever people have doubts, it's those silent sort of thoughts that they don't voice out unless they really want to communicate it. In this case, I feel like you're dealing with a person that keeps a lot of things on the inside. Okay, so you can find the links in the description box below. And if you want a personal tarot card reading, you can get it at thetaroempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.